Corn Cob Piper coming at you. It is uh, Thursday afternoon. Hope everybody's had a good uh, week so far. I'm sitting out in here in my garage enjoying a bowl. I'm smoking out of my Missouri Meerschaum uh, Diplomat Apple. And packed inside is my very last bowl worth of Bob's Chocolate Flake by uh, Gawith and Hogarth. Uh, which was gifted to me by uh, Hoosier Piper Mark uh, from his 100 sub giveaway. Do have more of this stuff on order. I'm looking forward to, uh, for it to come in. I think this is the first time I've ever shot a video from my garage. Um, don't come out here too often. We're getting towards the end of our winter, so it's starting to warm up here in Southwest Florida. And it gets a little bit too hot to be here in the summer, so this will, might be one of my you know last few times out in the garage until next fall. You know, I might have probably to the end of April, and it's going to start getting real hot. So I'll just give you the uh, the panoramic view here of the garage. We mostly just use it for storage. I have a little shop set up here. You can see all of my tools there. So uh, today's video is uh, going to be a yabo for you guys. Um, Compliments of smokingpipes.com. So I've been really lately focusing on my cellaring. So you know, all of my tobacco orders up until now have been really to cellar. Uh, I have enough open in my rotation. Uh, you know, to basically get me through for a little while. Um, but what I realized what I had failed to do when I was ordering all these tobaccos for my sellers is I didn't order up any aromatics. And I know aromatics don't sell well. The change of them, or the taste of them really isn't going to change. You know, by cellaring the tobaccos. However, I do enjoy from time to time smoking aromatics. I wouldn't classify myself into one style of uh, pipe smoke, I like Englishes, Balkans, Virginias, Aromatics, and I like them all the same. But I, if I had to pick a favorite, I would probably say Virginias. But I would never limit myself to just smoking Virginias. Uh, you know, and like I said, I, I do enjoy a nice aromatic from time to time as well. So I figured why not put in a order. Uh, you know, seller order. With some different aromatics that I could try from time to time. So without further ado, let me go ahead and I'll change the camera angle out for you guys. And we will go ahead and get to this right, YouTube. So we are back. Let's go ahead and get this box open so I can show you guys what's inside. I ordered a bunch of different um, aromatics and I don't think I ordered any two of the same thing. I actually don't recall, so let's see uh, what's in here. Uh, I based my order off of stuff that I've tried in the past and then have enjoyed, and then as well as, you know, I based some of it on some YouTube reviews from the YTPC, as well as some, uh, you know, reviews from the, the you know, uh, uh, the back over review side, I forget what it's called. So let's see what's in here. We'll get rid of this paper. So first off, we have some W. O. Larson uh, 1864. This is, uh, looks like 100 grams. Let's see, uh, is the perfect, uh, 1864 is the perfect mixture, modern version of an early successful blend by W. O. Larson. 1864 mixture consists of carefully selected Virginia tobaccos, from the best tobacco fields on three continents. The balanced Virginia tobaccos are blended with fermented black Cavendish and premium Burley from the United States, Malawi, and Mexico. We added a seductive flavor to ensure a generous and delicious taste. Truly a perfect mixture. So, never tried this one. I'm definitely looking forward to it. This next one here I've had. Uh, a sample of it was uh, given to me, uh, gifted to me by uh, Nika Piper, Ramon, this is Gentleman Caller. Um, if you haven't tried Deer Tongue, 
Uh, you know, definitely give it a try. I don't really know how to describe the smell or the flavor of it. Uh, it is just something very, very unique. But he gave me a few samples of some of his tobaccos with the deer tongue in it. And of the ones that I tried, this was my favorite. This is Cornell and Deal Gentleman Caller. So, you know, I'll definitely be getting to that at some point as well. Next here is Eileen Dream, and from what I've read of this one, this is uh, very, very wife friendly, uh, you know, very, very nice room note that this gives off. Uh, this will definitely be something that I'll be smoking inside on the days where I don't have my kids. Uh, but this one comes uh, highly recommended uh, as well, and this is Irish Cream and White Chocolate Truffles is the uh, flavoring, the topping for that one. Next, uh, everybody probably knows, uh, this is uh, Bella Vanilla. I've read lots of great reviews about this. This is a lot of people's favorite vanilla um, aromatic, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying that one as well. Next in the tin is 50 grams of uh, Dan's uh, Independence. Uh, this says this product, uh, see what it says, any, any kind of a tin description or anything, not really sure. I don't actually remember what, what this one is. I know it's an aromatic. Uh, we'll have to just open it up some point and smoke it and see how it goes. Uh, another one that I've tried and really, really like, if you guys like vanilla aromatics, this is Mac Barron's uh, Vanilla Flake. I'm a big fan of Virginia Flake tobaccos and uh, you know vanilla flavoring. This one comes highly recommended by me uh, personally. Got some more paper in here. Make sure there's nothing inside the paper. Yep, it's empty. All right. So next we have some Sutliff. Then this is the first Sutliff blend that I've ever personally bought myself. This is uh, Country Cork. Uh, it is an imported Irish cream applied to a base of Virginia and Burley tobaccos. Read great things about this one too, I just have never tried it. Looks like we got another Sutliff and uh, this one came highly recommended by Ben at the Unicorn Piper. Uh, he had done like a, I think a review or a first impression of this. And I've read you know, nothing but great reviews about this. A lot of people say this is their, their favorite Sutliff aromatic, and this is uh, Molto Dolce. I'm sure most of you know about that one as well. And then um, I got some of uh, the Cornell and Deal. This is their seller series, so I guess this is, this is uh, the King Cake. And uh, this is, I guess, uh, I believe a Latakia bomb is why I got this one to try. So it says in New Orleans, uh, Mardi Gras tradition, no confection is quite as synonymous with the season as the colorful king cake. Beginning on Epiphany, January 6th, the streets explode with parties and festivals, bringing together family and friends in the spirit of the Mardi Gras. With that very same intent, we created this cellar series blend to honor New Orleans staple experience. Mardi Gras like never before with king cake. Estimated peak 10 to 15 years. So uh, we're not going to be smoking this for, for a while. Uh, it's 2017. Might come back at you guys with a video in 2027 to try this one out. And then next I got the, uh, this is the, the Cornell and Deal, uh, their, their uh, horror movie collection. So this is the MM3 Curse of the Monster. The MM3, I guess they're all Curse of the Month, Curse of, Cursed of Mixture Monster. Okay, so this one's called the Stalker. This one is called Devil Doll. And this is the Stalker again. And then the, the third one is the, uh, the Hound. So those are the three. I'm pretty interested to try these. I uh, don't remember what the flavoring is. So the, the, the Hound is a, uh, this bone chilling blend is composed of light and dark Cavendish. Bewitched with a spellbinding aroma of candied apples and evil. Sounds pretty delicious. The uh, Stalker is uh, 
composed of light and dark cavernous, bewitched with a spell, binding aroma of canning apples and evil. So this one's canning. I guess maybe the same thing, different, just different cans. Yeah, so just same thing, I guess, just different cans. So I did want the collection. I'm, I'm into, you know, definitely, you know, having full collections of stuff. That's the reason that I got those, and I believe that is all that's in the box. Let me just go ahead and check the bottom. We have just some paper there. It's all that's left in the box. So I'm going to get these tobaccos, guys, entered up into my cellar. Oh, sorry about that. I just zoomed you. What the heck did I do? Yeah, I think I zoomed way in. Let me back this out here. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these tobaccos, obviously, put in my cellar. I'll pull them out from time to time. They're not going to sit in there for years, except for this king cake. I'm going to let this one, obviously, age for quite a while. See how it is in the future. Um, you know, but don't be like me, guys. If you're selling tobaccos and you do like aromatics, don't forget to don't forget to pick up some tins of aromatics as well. Obviously, to uh, you know, add to 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 your I guess uh, to the tobaccos that you're feeding off of. So. I'm getting low on most of my aromatics. I think the first one uh, that I'm going to open is going to be this one here, Eileen's Dream. Um, I'm just curious to see what the uh, the Irish cream and the white chocolate truffles taste like. Like I said, I've heard good things about all these, so pretty excited to try them all. YouTube, thanks for watching, everybody. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you don't know, I'm uh, doing a 100 sub giveaway. I believe it's the video before this. Go check it out if you're interested. Get entered in it. I definitely like to see your video responses for that. And as always, YouTube, keep on piping.